there, which I went to cover, it was not your ordinary war of army against army. It was a, a war of paramilitaries committing atrocities against defenseless uh, civilians, largely Muslims, some Croats. And it also consisted of sieges against the few cities that were able to resist the onslaught. Sarajevo was one of these cities. Srebrenica was another one of these cities. And so I was there covering this war, seeing terrible things happen that are not supposed to happen in war. I mean, wars are violent. Civilians get killed in, in wars. But it's not always illegal. In this case, there were civilians right under my window in Sarajevo, getting shot by snipers. I wrote about that. There were civilians whose houses were getting bombed. There were civilians who were standing in bread lines who were getting bombed and killed. There were aid shipments of medicine and food that were being prohibited from entry into these so-called safe areas because they were supposed to have been protected by the United Nations, but were not. And so I was there reporting on this. And in 1993, a year after this war began, uh, there was an international cr criminal tribunal that was set up to investigate war crimes and possible genocide that was occurring at the time in Bosnia. And that tribunal subsequently did um, hold a number of trials, including a senior Bosnia and Serb leaders, the military leader Ratko Mladic, the political leader Radovan Karadzic, and the Serbian leader Slobana Milosevic, in which the charges included genocide. And both Karadzic and Mladic are now in jail for the rest of their lives on charges that include genocide. So I was reporting on this genocide, flower line massacres in, in, in Gaza, for example, um, airdrops of humanitarian aid that killed some of the people they were intended to uh, help because they landed on top of these people also happened in, in Bosnia. Um, I began seeing just the same kinds of incidents that were the constituent elements in Bosnia of, of genocide um, also happening in Gaza. But kind of most disturbing in a way, uh, at a scale that was larger than Bosnia. I mean, for example, you know, in Bosnia, over the course of its four-year war, there were something like seven or 8,000 children killed, which is terrible. Um, in Gaza, over the course of, of just six months, there have been more than 13,000 children killed. So, you know, I just could not help but see not only the parallels, but also how what seems to be unfolding in, in Gaza is even worse than what I saw in, in Bosnia.